You guys are from Hayward, Wisconsin. Does this place look a little bit different from Hayward? Uh, yeah, maybe not so much as like from 85 degree weather all the way up to here, but there's definitely some differences. Definitely differences. So I want you to document in here, sketch, draw all the things that you just talked about into this field notebook. You don't want to have like the horse blinders on. You want to be able to open it up and also know that nature is also a tangible, touchable item. So that's what it was for me. I, Because I looked at a forest and I thought that all the forests were just like tree, 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 tree. Oh, that's great. That's neat. Or, oh, a nice squiggly tree is over there right now. How neat. But I never thought about, well, why is that tree squiggly over there? Yeah. Why am I just entering into a birch grove? What happened here in this aspen grove? You know, why, why is the soil, I can already tell it's completely different as I'm walking along here. Why is this rocky at this point versus where I was at down here before? And then you start to learn about the history. You can write this underneath the title. It's what is out there. And then how would I define the criteria to describe this place? The point of the challenge question is that you're not able to answer it now. The point of the challenge question is that you are able to answer it at the end when the students get out into lands, they're able to take that knowledge from trees, remember it when they're out in the pressed forest, or remember it when they're out at Anvil Lake, or remember it when we go to the Luna Lake campground, and they can actually begin to make connections. Oh, it's not just in the 44 acres. This is the North Woods. So you guys use the skills. You guys use your knowledge. You guys use your own background knowledge to be able to describe this ecosystem and to identify different other kinds of ecosystems as well. You will keep doing that throughout the entire time that you are here, using those skills and looking at the small stuff. We have like young trees and old trees okay. and dead trees. trees and water ruts and kind of open area and it's just like a really cool spot. We go around through these different different land for the students to be able to see what does these different ecosystems look like. Um, even on the land here, when we're exploring just within our 44 acres, you know, you run into a red pine plantation. And then there's the Eagle River that's right next door that's used for recreation mainly. And then there's the mixed deciduous forest, and then there's the hardwood forests. Um, there's just already these sub-ecosystems that are here that the students already can explore. And that's what the entire point of the intro to ecosystems was about, to be able to open up. There's these differences. They're small. No, it's not all just trees. Yeah. But what kind of tree is it? Yeah. Not all tree looks the same. How are they different? How are they unique? How they're just like you and me. How are they different compared to you and me?